In sports, we've got some very famous names at the top of the list. Uh, number one, Bruce Arian stepping down as head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He is transitioning to the front office as senior football consultant. Uh, and uh, who are they hiring to take his place? Todd Bowles. He served as the defensive coordinator for the Buccaneers since 2019. Previously, he was head coach of the New York Jets from 2015 to 2018. Quoting here from Bruce Arians, the simple answer is that I've accomplished more than I ever dreamed I could do during this incredible coaching journey. Winning the Super Bowl at our home stadium with my mom and family in attendance was really the last thing I wanted to check off my career bucket list for me. This is more about just trying to add more wins to my coaching record, he wrote. This team is a much better place than it was three years ago due to Jason's great work and the Glazer family is committed to winning. So Bruce Arians is uh, resigning as uh, the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And uh, other big names in the news, Tiger Woods, of course, the Masters. Is Tiger Woods playing or not? Speculation is ramped up. Um, and a surgeon has weighed in on his chances of winning. He's yet to play in a PGA Tour event since 2020. Woods has uh, been seen on the course multiple times, taking part of the PNC Championship in December. He's yet to compete in an event this year. He is in Augusta, though, so it'll be very, very interesting to see if he will show up and compete in the Masters. It'll be it'll be fun if he does. I think I I think it's good. I think it's good for the uh, for the for the game of golf to have uh, Tiger Woods back. We'll see if he's uh, physically ready uh, to do it though. That's the whole thing. That's tough. All right. Another UFC fighter or an ex-UFC fighter is facing charges in a Las Vegas brawl. And what was his excuse? He tells police he doesn't remember the incident. Wonder why. I wonder why. All right. Now, on Tom Brady, he issued a statement on former coach Bruce Aarons Quote, thank you for all that you've done for me and our team. You're an incredible man and coach. It was a privilege to play for you. You're a true NFL legend and pioneer for all the work you've done to make the league more diverse and inclusive. Smart, tough, and loyal are a few of the words to describe your style. I'll always remember the conversations we had when you recruited me two years ago, and all the things we discussed came true. End quote. That from Tom Brady on Bruce Aaron's uh, stepping down as head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It looks like Baker Mayfield might wind up with the Seattle Seahawks. We'll see. Hard to tell. Uh, in other sports, let's take a look at the NBA. If we had any local teams play yesterday, we did. The uh, Celtics lost to the Heat 106-96. The Hornets bombed the Knicks 125 to 114 yesterday. Coming up today, the Nets take on the Bucks at 7:30. Tomorrow, see if we have any action. Yes, the Celtics take on the Pacers at 7:30. That's tomorrow. And on Saturday, the Knicks take on the Cavaliers and the Nets take on the Hawks. Moving over to the National Hockey League yesterday. The Rangers defeated the Red Wings 5-4. to four. They keep winning. They're having a great year this year. Coming up today, the Devils take on the Bruins at 7 o'clock. And coming up tomorrow, the Islanders and the Rangers meet at 7 p.m. So it's a good year for the Rangers this year. They're playing excellent, as a matter of fact. And that is a, a quick check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio. <laughs> 